okay hello everyone welcome back to another video where we will be solving some scenario based power bi interview questions that has been asked for the positions of power bi developer data analyst business analyst uh, in various kind of companies so this time i have picked the question the scenario that has been shared with uh, me from one of my linkedin connections and this question has been asked in the power bi developer interview question in the company scatterpy analytics which is like uh, uh, the big analytic firms in world right so we're going to look at the scenario and uh, we're going to solve this right so let's have a look on the scenario consider the following scenario you have sales data with two columns category and sales and you create two items a measure which is sum of sales amount and a calculated column sum of sales and then you drag both the measures and a calculated column into a visual alongside the category so what will be the output for the measure and the calculated column so first let's solve this so here we have been asked like uh, uh, we have to create a calculated column the same definition we have to give to calculated column and same to the measure and alongside category we have to visualize like what the output looks like so for this purpose i have created some dummy data as per the scenario that has been asked here so let me tell you about the dummy data okay so i'm just having this one table the category sales and city right so let's have a look the first thing that i'm going to do is creating a calculated column because it is asked in the scenario so i'm going to create new column and let's create give it a sales amount and since we are creating column so i'm giving it column so sum of sales now with the same definition i have to create a measure so i'm going to go here and click on new measure let's name it as sales amount measure so again sum of sales amount column okay so we have done this two things we have created a calculated column and we have also created a measure now it is saying us you drag both the measures and the calculated column into a table visual alongside category so what will what would be the output so let's see what is it written and i'm also going to explain you why the output is different for both of the items let's drag category the calculated column and the measure so here you can clearly see calculated column is not respecting the filter context here the filter is category so it should show us like the category wise sales and measure is uh, uh, respecting the ca uh, ca categories filter here because the measures are the scalar values that has been calculated by power bi internally uh, and it is a dynamic like for each category it gives us the split of the sales amount so it uh, follows filter context always just remember one thing measures always follow filter context so for each of the category it is giving us the different value but what is happening with the calculated column is that it is grouping the values not filtering the values right so for category a my total sales uh, here you can see i have created a calculated column but it is not filtering the values right it is aggregating the values at the table level like uh, it has just aggregated this column and the values comes to Two to double zero. So for each and every single row, it has created row by row calculation, and in each single cells, it is giving me the values. But what does measure do? It respects the filter context. But we cannot visualize a measure in the physical table of our data model. We need some kind of visuals to visualize the output of measure. So here you can clearly see the output is splitting. So here why it is summing up to 44 
zero zero. So let me tell you, if I select category A from here, so it has two values. So it just grouped, it just grouped the value category A with this amount column. So that's why it is giving the four four zero zero, right? Let's remove the filter. So this is the difference between uh, calculated column and measure. Measure uh, respects filter context, but calculated column does row by row calculation. So yeah, this is uh, this part of the question. Now let's see what the scenario is ahead. In the same table, I want to create a measure where I want to show the data of only category A. So I have A, B, C, D category, and I just want to say uh, show the sales of category A. So what tax I will write? So let me tell you. So here, like uh, we have to restrict the filter just for the category A. So let's name it as category A sales, and I'll make use of calculate tax function because with the help of calculate we can modify the filter context. Here I'm gonna pass total sales, the measure that I have created. Okay, it is not total sales; it is sales amount measure. And here I can modify the filter context. So let me modify it. I'm gonna make use of key filters tax function, and I will specify like I just want to calculate the sales where the category equals A. So let me close the parenthesis and let us see what does it return. Key filter is the tax function where you just restrict the filter to particular category with the help of boolean expression. So this is the boolean expression, and we are here changing the filter context. We are uh, saying Power BI that calculate the total sales, but only for category A. So let's drag this. So here you can clearly see. Category A 400 sales, so it is giving just that, and for other values, it is giving it is uh, giving us the blank values because we have explicitly modified the filter context here, uh, which is allowing only uh, the filter of category A. So yeah, this is how you can write a measure. And uh, let's see what does the scenario tells us. In next question. Okay, so now if a CT column is added to the same table, how will be the output change? So let's add a CT column. I am also having the CT column here. I have deliberately created this dummy data so that it fits with the scenario, and uh, you can also answer such kind of questions if asked in your interview. So let's drag CT column and let's see. What does the output changes for all of the three items that we have in our table visual? So I have dragged the city column. So here you can clearly see uh, my calculated column is, is still uh, not allowing us uh, to filter the values, giving same redundant values in each row. But here, like before, the category A sales was 400, so it is also 400. But we have also added city here, so it is also allowing the city. Filter. So for LA, I am having 300 sales, and for NY, I am having 400 sales, and both the values sums up to 400 for category A. So it has splitted the values according to the city from category A, and where we have uh, calculated the sales for only category A, it has also respecting the filter context, right? Because we have explicitly. Uh, calculated total sales for category A so it is giving me the split because it is respecting both of the filter context here so yeah this is uh, the scenario and uh, this is all about today's video if you are having any kind of questions so please do let me in comment and if you want that I make video on particular specific topic related to Power BI or SQL so please do let me in comment section and please do like my content, subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow my videos and like my videos and share it as much as possible. So yeah, that's all. See you all in next video. Thank you.